For more than six decades, she's been singing folk songs with a special love for children. Ella Jenkins turned 90 years old this week, and Harry Porterfield says she is someone you should know. You'll sing a song, and I'll sing a song. You sing a song, and I'll sing a song. Lifelong Chicagoan Ella Jenkins composed it for children nearly 50 years ago. You'll play a tune, and I'll play a tune. And it has never lost the quality that has endeared it to audiences everywhere. <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's, that surprised you at all? I was surprised, but very delighted and pleased, you know. And I think it's an easy song to sing. And children love to sing, and they like songs that are easy, that they, where they can catch on to them right away. It was the communication with children through her songs that caused her to devote her life to singing and playing her music. As a kid, she taught herself the ukulele and the harmonica. The more I'd hear, then I would imitate sounds, and pretty soon I, I figured out I could play a tune. In 1957, she appeared on the WTTW show Totem Club. Betty said, well, you've got so many requests, maybe you should have a little show of your own. Later, she became a regular on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Last time I know a city. In 2004, know she was honored with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. But I guess when you say Grammy, if you like it when you say Emmy or Grammy or any of those kind of awards, well, people sort of perk up and say, well, you must have done something real special. Oh, the She's a pretty bird. This is her 40th album, a collection of multicultural songs for kids. Known as the First Lady of Children's Folk Music, she is celebrating her 90th birthday. I don't think so much of number of years as the, what I do with the years. Harry Porterfield, CBS 2 News. That's Ella Jenkins, someone you should know. <laughs>